Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to set up RTX tracking with VTFace and Vinyan. Now, before we get started, I need to remind you guys that this tutorial is only for those with an RTX graphics card. If by any chance you have an Intel graphics card, an AMD graphics card, a GTX graphics card, or anything that is non-RTX NVIDIA, you sadly cannot follow this tutorial as this program only works with RTX graphics cards. You can blame NVIDIA on that. But either way, basically there is this program called Expression App Bridge that will allow you to actually uh, send VTube Studio's RTX tracking to VTFace or any sort of program that supports iFacial mocap protocol. Um, this is Pretty much, uh, this isn't really BMC based, just iFacial mocap protocol. So, s programs like, you know, like I said, VC Face or Vinyan or even V Magic Mirror, any program with the iFacial mo mocap protocol, they will work with this program, which is a benefit. And thankfully, as developments have been improving, uh, it has been a lot more easier to set up this program, because earlier it was a little bit more difficult. But I won't get into the difficult part, uh, this should be a lot more easier to set up. Now, to start off, you need to download VTube Studio. Even if you don't use VTube Studio, like if you don't have a live 2D model or anything, you still, you still need to have it downloaded because you're trying to extract the RTX data that's coming from VTube Studio. You do not need VTube Studio running at all, you just need the file pass because as of right now this program relies on VTube Studio and it's not quite standalone. Eventually this program plans to be standalone with the RTX tracking, but in the meantime it will be, um, it'll be relying on VTube Studio's RTX tracking. VTube Studio can be found on the Steam page, so please make sure you have a Steam account so that way you can actually download this. Now, with that being said though, once you have that downloaded, the next thing you have to do, well, after of course reading some of the stuff here if you so desire, but pretty much the next thing you need to do is you need to download Python.11, um, 3.11, my bad. So you need to download this exact version here so it can work, which I'll make sure to link all the resources in the description. So go to the Python website right here. Um, again, in description, or just Google Python 3.11 and it should pop up. Basically, you're going to scroll all the way down until you find the files. Now, most computers are 64-bit, so you're probably going to download this one. However, if you are 32-bit, make sure you download this. If you don't know what bit you are, please um, look into your Windows settings and double check to see if you are 32-bit because some computers are, but some, most uh, computers are 64-bit. So I would download this since I am 64-bit. And pretty much it'll download like a normal program basically, so just go through the process basically. And once you have that done, um, and you know, after you download Python and you also download um, VTube Studio, you can actually go ahead and download this app. You're going to go into code and you're going to download the zip right here. That way um, you can get going. So make sure you also, uh, for this program, so after you um, have this uh, installed and VTube Studio all set and going, again, you don't really have to set up VTube Studio itself, you just need it downloaded. And then you would extract this file to your desktop. Um, and once you have this set up basically, um, basically it's going to look something like this. So basically uh, you'll have your expression bridge app here and then this uh, we're going to be needing this uh, which I'll show you how to access this folder. So this is basically the RTX tracking for VTube Studio that we will be needing. So to start off once you have your thing set up you're going to double click on main python. If by any chance you're an advanced user, you are free to check out the other settings here, such as the configurations and all that, but I would not recommend that for new beginners, unless you're someone who knows um, some python, feel free to touch those. But again, your only focus is this. So once you have the program downloaded properly, go to main python and double click. As you can see, there is no path set, and this is okay. We need to tell this program to follow VTube Studio's file path. How do we do that? Well, depending on where you installed VTube Studio, 
you're going to have to copy and paste the file path. So you're going to go into File Explorer and you're going to basically look up this file path. I will copy and paste this in the description if you do match exactly this. However, not every computer matches it. So basically wherever your Steam folder is, you'll go to Steam Apps, then Common, then VTube Studio, then uh, VTube Studio Data, then Streaming Assets, then the MX Tracker. And that's how you'll find the RTX tracking for VTube Studio. And you're going to basically copy this link with Control C, or if by chance, um, you know, you don't have a Control C, just right click and click on copy. Then you're going to go into this program here and you're going to do Control V and then paste it. It should say that the expression app has been found. If it doesn't, then you probably put in the wrong link or the wrong file path. And well, basically, um, if by any chance you have some issues with this, please contact Dr. Bomb. Dr. Bomb is the creator of the Expression Bridge app. Um, so I would definitely recommend if you have issues, please contact them. They are open for bug reports and they're willing to help everyone out with RTX tracking. But basically, once you have this all working, you're going to go into available cameras and find a camera that best suits you. I'm going to select the Elgato face cam as that's basically my main webcam. I'm going to press 1. For the uh, available camera nodes modes here, I usually press number 0 uh, as that would usually be the best recommended one, but feel free to, uh, to mess around with the other settings they have here. But I'm going to choose 0 as that's basically the best one that's, or at least the top one here. Now basically look into the web camera and you will see that you will have your NVIDIA tracking working. Ah. Now do keep in mind though, um, do keep in mind though that there is no tongue tracking. So do keep that in mind. Um, there are some limitations to RTX tracking, but either way, um, it should work. I will also mention as well, if by any chance the tracking looks a little off to you, I highly recommend please make sure you have light in your room. I'll make sure to link in the description a, a light that I personally use. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light. You can see my tracking is a bit more better. But I definitely recommend having light as light will help your tracking so much better. The more lights, the better. But also don't blind yourself. Now, now that we have our tracking working, we're going to go into VC Face and we're going to set up the tracking. So go to VC Face. And make sure I have it loaded. Give it a moment to process and make sure to select the avatar you want. Set the camera to open C, open C face tracking because your camera is already taken over by RTX tracking. And set your microphone to wherever you want. You don't have to set one up, uh, you can set random, but if you really want to use microphone, I recommend use one. Then click on start. Then you're going to go into your settings, general settings, scroll all the way down to where there's iPhone Air Kit tracking receiver, set it to iFacial mocap, and you should automatically instantly um, track away. And you don't even have to input your IP as it pretty much should automatically detect it. If by any chance you have issues with setting RTX tracking in VC Face, again, please talk to Dr. Bomb about it. If by any chance you feel like your mouse tracking is a bit too weak, then I would recommend set up hybrid lip sync right here, so that way your lip is more dynamic, but you can still utilize RTX tracking. Now again, um, if by any chance you still feel like your remote cap or your movements are too jittery, I recommend increase the smoothness on VC face. By default, it will be set 2.5, which is quite decent. But if by any chance it's too jittery, I recommend increase it to be a little higher. And again, make sure to set up proper lights so that way your tracking quality is much better. Now do keep in mind, again, this is not an iPhone replacement or, um, or a Meow Face replacement. This is mainly for those who really want to have webcam tracking, but they want to basically have a bit of an upgrade from, I guess, Open C Face, but again, I would recommend please test out open C face tracking, which is VC face's default webcam tracking, and also compare it with RTX tracking to see which best fits you. So keep that in mind. Now, with that being said, 
Once you have it set up in VC Face, you probably may want to set up in Vineyard. So let me show you how to set up in Vineyard. So we're going to go ahead and cancel the program and we're going to go into Vineyard. And I should have my character loaded by default. Again, if by any chance you're wondering about the, the um, any Vignan tutorials, I have Vignan tutorials on my channel if you don't if you really want to check them out. But we're gonna go into settings up here, general settings, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down in the tracking layers, and we're gonna look into eye facial mocap. So select eye facial mocap, and again, you don't have to input your IP. This IP here is just for VTube Studio, so it talks to Vignan for testing purposes. Uh, again, I will also mention this IP is not an IP to my house. No, it is not. This IP is just a local IP, so it's just, just that. It's just a number. It really does nothing. But either way though, once you have iFacial mocap set up, and pretty much you don't need to set up the IP, pretty much mess with the settings below so that way you can kind of configure the type of settings you want. And once you, you know, play around with the settings and so on, you should be able to have RTX tracking inside of Vignon. And also, yes, this works natively. You don't need to run VC Phase uh, to use um, the RTX tracking with Vignon. If by any chance there are some settings you prefer with VC, you know, with VC Phase, then by all means you can send VC Phase data to Vignon via VMC. But either way though, I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And again, do keep in mind, I am not the developer of this program. I just simply want to make this tutorial for anyone who wants to use RTX tracking. I highly recommend if you have issues with the program, please contact Dr. Bomb as he will gladly help you out on setting up your stuff. You know, helping you out with the program, or if you have any bug reports or any sort of request that you have for the program, please contact them so that way they can help you out. But with that being said, hope that this tutorial helps you out. And with that being said, hey, 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 everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.